Instead, we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves and each other. So it's the power of empathy is something that speaks to you? Yeah, it's just moved me so much. And it's, it's, it's you know, I've only experienced a little bit, but it's been this deficit in my life. And then, then I experience, you know, someone coming to where I'm at and just how, how you know, they can see the, the things through my eyes. And you know they will actually be with me. I, I can tell when when someone's really with me, and even when someone's just trying to meet with me. I don't if you know the when we did the empathy groups, um, people just you know try to guess at what I'm feeling, but I know they're involved, and and they can help me discover what I'm feeling deep down. And they're with. It's like they're taking this journey with me, and it's it's so wonderful to be with someone, you know, who's helping you know helping you know, helping me find me and what I'm. What's really going on in me, and it's just it's it's so powerful and so encouraging, um, and that's what I really like about that. Do you remember so, when that happened the first time? Sounds like there might have been a memory of some instant. Yeah, there is. Um, I was in in a workshop, just just the previous workshop to, to this one actually, and um, uh, you know I can't quite remember what I said, but someone. Just gave me empathy. I mean, I, and it was it was it was almost painful because it was like I was an experience that I had never experienced before. And I I know later they came up and they just touched my shoulder. I could just feel my whole body going limp just because I was it was you know I, I just felt you know safe and I could be vulnerable to them. I knew I wouldn't be judged, and uh, and that was just you know just a wonderful feeling. And uh, was that something you grew up with, or was it something lacking? Or? Yeah, it seemed to be a, you know something lacking, you know, and then and that's why you know experiencing it now I think is so powerful for me because I just didn't have it and haven't you know really experienced that. So is it this workshop where you felt it the first time, or was it so kind of previously? It sounds like it was even previous. Yeah, it was at a pre pre previous workshop, and that's what encouraged me to you know seek out other workshops. Um, or because I'm, I, you know, I'm still in the early phases, so, you know, I, I, I can see the benefit of giving empathy to, and, you know, it's, it's a two-way deal, but, you know, I'm certainly receiving it is, 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 has been wonderful for me. I'm kind so, of curious about what happened at the first workshop, if there was, like, a memory of what happened there. Uh, I, I, I can't quite remember the specifics, but, uh, you know, part of it was we, we had a, um, a situation where we went through here's some examples of of what's not empathy and we gave everyone a chance to demonstrate that and those were so familiar to me i was very very we all took turns and i was very e it was very easy for me to demonstrate that because i knew how to do it i learned that and and that's the sad thing it's it's not that i think people are trying to not be empathetic or not be a full there's it's just it's an Ill, it's, it's not it's the learning to how to be empathetic that hasn't been there. So um, and then we then we went around again and that's when I received empathy and that's when it was such a shock for me to to actually and in the workshop we we dealt with you know so, something real it wasn't imaginary that was part of the the deal you know don't don't make it you know something like a ten on a scale of one to ten make it you know five or six um, but something that really is is going on with you at the time. And that's that's when I got it back. That's what I knew because it wasn't fictitious. Well, the first thing it sounded like it was uh, you you've been learning how to not do empathy. All the things that keep you from doing empathy. Yeah, you've been kind of practicing those. So. Those have been unfortunately the the learning that I've experienced just you know in, in growing up and in in society. I mean, it's it's not just you know where I grew up and it was just a common practice. And it was just what what they called empathy blockers, ways not to you know ways that will inhibit empathy and inhibit connection. Um, so they involved you know, um, you know, asking a lot of questions and you know or or, or telling my own you know going in and telling my own story and co overriding their story instead of listening and kind of drawing out their story. And in that case, in my case, drawing out my story, so I knew I was under certain and they're going where I was at, and that's what was so different. They were coming to me; I didn't have to go to them emotionally. So. Well, the uh, is there any, uh, one thing I like to look at is metaphors. You kind of played a little bit with those cards. If you had a metaphor for empathy, what would that 
be like. Uh, you know, usually it's seen as standing in someone else's shoes or looking through their eyes. Uh, what would the empathy be like for you? Um, I think looking through my eyes as well as maybe just someone having you know a hand around my shoulder and listening. And I really like the song that uh, was was sung earlier, "Listening with Love." And and both of those were were so, were so true for me. Um, you know, I want to be listened to and I want to be loved, and and those two tell me that 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 um, I'm experiencing empathy. Those two are you know really critical. <laughs>